G'day and welcome to a tutorial on how to get your wireless Apple CarPlay working on your head unit. If you've got a 10 inch or a 12 inch, 13, 6 or 16 inch unit, same process will go to be able to connect your head unit to your phone using Apple CarPlay uh, via our apps that are called either T-Link or Z-Link. So let's get straight into it. You'll see on your main screen here, uh, you've got a bunch of different icons and uh, options. To be able to connect Apple CarPlay, you're going to need to make sure that your Bluetooth is connected and your Wi-Fi is turned on. So to do that, we're going to go into Bluetooth in here and then into our settings at the very end there and we'll see a device name and a PIN password, which then we just need to go into our phone and into our Bluetooth menu. And in Bluetooth, we will end up finding one as the device is labeled and we'll connect to that. It'll ask us for a PIN number and we just type in the pin when it prompts us. In this case, it's four zeros. Once it's paired, you'll see on the device it says pair success. And then up the top right hand corner, next to the time, there's a little white Bluetooth logo. This one here, that's now a solid white. If it's not a solid white and you can't see solid white, you're not connected. Then if we go home and tap on our T-Link app, it'll come through to this screen, which is when it's loading it'll initiate with your device. Now you do need to make sure that your phone's Wi-Fi is turned on and then you'll have something pop up on the screen looking something like this. It'll say use CarLink with CarPlay with T-Link. Just go use CarPlay and then it'll connect. The head unit will then come up with your name and it'll open up. Now that we're actually connected to it, I'll teach you a little bit of how it operates and how it works. So if we hit home on our device, which goes back to the main home screen, we will see that we're disconnected from Bluetooth as Bluetooth is only enabled to be able to connect to the device and then it transmits through Wi-Fi. So currently, when we go into our Wi-Fi, it's not turned on because it's being used for CarPlay and our Bluetooth isn't connected. So if we are to turn off our Wi-Fi and if we turn off our Bluetooth, so all disconnected on the phone and also disconnected via the head unit. If we try to go into CarPlay now, there'll be no connection. It will try to connect, it'll say waiting, but until we have our connection with our Bluetooth again, there will not be a connection. So if you have jumped out of the car, gone into the shops quickly and jumped back out, sometimes you might see this happening. So the easiest way to reconnect is to go into your phone, just check the connections there, which it's currently not. So we're just gonna tap on N80, which is the device. It'll say connected. It will then attempt to connect through the head unit as long as we've got the connection going, which it is going into connecting now. And we're back in. So as long as your Bluetooth connection is established, you will be able to connect your wireless Apple CarPlay via the head unit. If you don't have the Bluetooth connected or there's been a failure in connection, you just need to make sure that you go into either your phone or go into the Bluetooth here, find your device, tap on that, and make sure that the little icon at the top and the right hand side is solid, not grayed out like it is currently. Just then it's ticked over into the solid, making sure that that is solid before attempting to connect via T-Link. 